Hello crafters, this is Yana Svakula. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to introduce you to my new collection with spellbinders called Anemone Blooms. This collection is launching today and you can find it in the Spellbinders online shop, both in the US and in the UK, and also at many online retailers. I have direct links below. Simon Says Stamp and Scrapbook.com have already had this collection for a few weeks now, so some of you might have even already purchased it. Now, similar to the collection I did last year called Yana's Blooms, I designed anemone blooms with elegant floral card making in mind. The theme for this collection is birthdays and friendships, and all of the sentiments in this line center around that. Now, this is a smaller collection featuring just five products, some of which are dyes and some of which are glimmer plates. All of these work with my previously released products, especially the Yana's Blooms products. So if you already have some of the Yana's Blooms, you can pick up the products from the Anemone Blooms and you can mix them, especially the sentiments as the fonts uh, and the sizes in those fonts are exactly the same. The scripty words in the Yana's Blooms collection are happy, birthday, and thanks. And the scripty words in the Anemone Blooms are friend, hello, wonderful, you, and beautiful. So think about the different combinations you can create using these dyes. Now, the main dye in this collection is the Anemone dye. It features a large floral cluster, very similar in style and size, to the Magnolia Blooms that was released last year. The Anemones cluster is designed in the, in the exact same way, meaning you have the shadow die and then the outline and detail die. You can cut these together or use just the outline alone without the shadow. My main idea for the shadow die was to have it cut from vellum for a very airy look and feel. Now, this anemone die is large enough to fill an A2 card. It easily stands on its own, but you can also use several of these clusters. I have found three to be the magic number to fill the entire background for an A2 card, which measures, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half inches if you want to have a floral pattern on your project. Of course, if you make bigger cards, this die set works for that as well, as again, it is pretty large. Now, what I love to do most with this die set is I love to cut the outline from mere gold cardstock or, you know, any other specialty paper. Thankfully, there are loads of specialty mirror or, you know, satin or brushed papers out there. By the way, the Anemone Blooms die is very detailed. And you might have difficulty cutting it depending on the state or the newness of your die cutting machine. If you have a brand new machine, it might cut really well, but if your machine is older and well-loved and well-used, you might have slight difficulties. For me, if I send this die through the machine once, I cut most of it out, but not so that the pieces fall out. And that's actually to my advantage. The pieces stay in allowing me to manipulate the petals easily without having to paper piece everything together petal by petal. And by manipulate, I mean color the petals or ink blend the petals or just have them together without the whole die cut falling apart. If you want to have a perfect cut, you'll need to send this die through the machine twice or maybe even three times, depending on your machine, rotating the die every time you send it through. For the gold die cuts, the outline die cuts, I like to send them through the machine twice to have the perfect cut and have the petals fall out as I don't actually need the petals, I just need the outline. Now, this is just as with any other detailed die out there. This also depends a lot on the thickness of the cardstock you use. The thinner the cardstock, the better it will cut. The thicker the cardstock, the more additional passes through the machine you'll need to do. And then cut the petals from either 
light colored cardstock, for example, such as Spellbinders Alabaster or Spellbinders Glacier, or let's say Hero Arts Peony, or cut it from white cardstock and do a touch of coloring using alcohol markers to add shading to the flower petals. This way, you are not spending a whole lot of time coloring this image, but at the same time, you are adding just a touch of color to make the die cut a little bit more interesting and dimensional. Now, and when I say color with alcohol markers, you don't have to uh, use just the markers. You know, you can do a touch of ink blending for that as well, as that's a lot faster and easier too. Now, if you have a hot foil system, I have this same design available in glimmer plate format. The glimmer anemone cluster, it is called anemone glimmer blooms, is a touch smaller and it has additional baby's breath images added to it. Baby's Breath is a gorgeous bouquet filler. I love this plant in bouquets. It adds so much air and elegance, you know? So I just had to add it to my anemones. I did want to add it to the dye set as well, but when you make it into a dye, we couldn't make it as detailed. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, the baby's breath is very dainty. You know, it's very, it has very thin lines, very small blooms. It didn't quite work for the die set, but it worked beautifully for the glimmer set. Now, the glimmer plate has a coordinating die, of course, allowing you to cut the cluster out. We've also included a die to cut a word friend. And as with all of the other word dies in this collection, there are a main die and a shadow die. Now, I particularly love to foil this in satin or matte foil color and do simple coloring with my alcohol markers. Anemones come in all shapes and sizes, starting from white to any other color you can possibly imagine. There are even black anemones. Now, the flower center is usually black, and it's actually very similar to the one you would see in a poppy flower. But there are also yellow flower centers, especially with the white petal flowers. Fun fact, the anemones' petals close up at night, and they reopen in the morning to protect themselves from the cold. So we have two anemone products, the dye set and the glimmer set, and these make the foundation of this collection. Next, we have three sentiment sets. There is one die set and two glimmer sets. Now, the die set, called Wonderful Script Sentiments, features the same scripty font used in my previously released sentiments from the Magnolia Blooms collection. And these can be used alone, but have been specifically designed to be used with a glimmer set called Hello Friend Sentiment. So the dies will cut the glimmered sentiments out. Now, the glimmer set offers additional messages that pair well with the scripty words, giving you multiple sentiment option combinations. For example, for my beautiful friend, and you can have the word beautiful in either foil or die cut option. Hello, beautiful. You are beautiful and perfect. Wishing you a birthday as beautiful as you. For my wonderful friend, you are a wonderful friend. Wishing you a birthday as wonderful as you. And hello, friend. I'm sure you can come up with other sentiment combinations. These are just the combinations I thought of when I was designing this set. Now, the last product in this collection is a set of sentiments I call inside card sentiments. These are longer messages that can be put on the inside of your card. You know, some are a bit snarky. For example, I love knowing that no matter how much time passes, you'll always be older. But then some are sweet and caring, such as happy birthday to the best friend anyone can ask for. You can use these on the inside of the card, but they also work well on the outside of the card too. You know, especially if you have an anemone cluster, one cluster, a scripty die cut or a foiled word, and then one of those longer sentiments like the one you see on this card. So that's a look at my new Anemone Blooms collection with Spellbinders. This is my fourth collection and I think it is the best one yet. I know I say this every time, but I'm very excited about these products. 
I love to hear what you think. I always appreciate your comments and feedback. And most importantly, I would love to see you create with these products. If you happen to pick up any of the products from uh, Anemone Bloom's collection and create something, please share your project online. Tag me, tag Spellbinders. I'd love to see how you use these and your take on these designs. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.